very special guest indeed. He's a man that has done some incredible things in his life, including setting up a charity all about getting the proper access and easier provisions for people living with disabilities. Joining me on the line right now to share his story with us is the wonderful Max Burt. How are you going tonight, Max? Very well, thank you. How are you? I'm very well too, thank you. It's an absolute honour to have you on the show, first and foremost. I want to say that. Uh, fabulous to be able to chat to someone like you. Uh, now, without further ado, to start things off, if you don't mind me asking, uh, you had a pretty nasty accident 22 years ago that led to you being in a wheelchair. If you don't mind me asking, what happened? Uh, right, okay. Uh, basically, I was uh, driving home from work one wet on a February evening in London went through a green light and a fire engine, which I obviously didn't see, went through the, through a red light and he burned my car and saw me 50 metres up the road and I uh, suffered a pretty traumatic head injury amongst a few other things and spent about 10 months in the hospital and I was in a wheelchair. My voice you can hear. I also have big dexterity issues and I'm partially paralysed down my left side. So quite a few things happened uh, there. It would be fair to say you know, that life changed immediately in a split second. So I obviously was forced to give up my job, move house and find a, a new place to live. My then wife and I decided to separate and later divorce. So basically life had Start again in many ways. Yeah, it was definitely a massive life changing moment. It's left you in a wheelchair for uh, 22 years now, almost to the day. Being wheelchair bound for so long, how did you eventually come up with the idea of something like Wheel Easy? Well, that was certainly not the first, but it was really crystallized after I moved to Australia in 2011 with my new wife, who I met after my accident, Justine. And uh, we suddenly realised that a beach five minutes up the road from where we live had a beach wheelchair. But we didn't know about it. In fact, very few people knew about it. And it crystallised the real issue, which is access to information. The issue of mobility or lack of mobility affects so many more people than just the mobility impaired. It also affects everyone who spends time with them. Yeah, so it really covers a lot of bases, a lot of issues. And like you just said, not only does lack of access affect people living with the disability, but the people around the people living with disabilities as well. Uh, one more question before we wrap up, Max. If there are people listening in out there who want to find out more about Wheel Easy, uh, get involved and support it as well, where can they find more stuff about Wheel Easy? Well, good question. And the easiest way to do that is to go to our website, which is www.wheeleasy.org. I think it's very important to say that getting the involvement of the public is really crucial. So, for example, you, Angus, you could, tomorrow, you could go and add information about your local cafe. 
the idea is to get everyone interested in taking photos and writing descriptions of places. And it's important also to stress what you can't get into because frequently we can really end in tears, you know, when you end up going somewhere and you had misleading information and you find you can't get in there. Mm. Well, there you go. It's a very awesome platform for people all over the coast living with disabilities to connect, let each other know what's accessible, what isn't, where you can go, what's the best places to go. Max, you're an amazing man. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, We're going to take a quick break, but we'll, we'll be back with Max for another segment in a few minutes' time. Joining me on the line once again is the wonderful Max Burt. Uh, Earlier in the show, he joined us to talk all about his story and how he came up with Wheel Easy, a wonderful charity uh, based in Sydney and expanding now to the Central Coast to help people living with disabilities find the best areas with the best accessibility. Max also grew up overseas in London, UK, and he's here to tell us all about that experience. Max, you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. Yeah. Awesome. Well, yeah, thanks for coming on once again. Now, you grew up in the UK in a little town called London. Um, If you don't mind me asking, what are the provisions and accessibilities for people living with disabilities? How does London compare to Australia? London is a truly wonderful, amazing place in many ways. But I realise that it's truly impossible to live in from the perspective of a wheelchair. Well, not impossible, but very difficult. The first thing is that London is a very crowded place, and that poses big problems. They also crowd into buses and tube trains, which therefore means that all the buses are impossible to use at the time you want to use them, you know, when everyone else is using them. And the few tube stations you can get into, great, but you can't use the trains because they're packed. The stations themselves, well, I think it's only 15% of tube stations in London are accessible. The other thing about transport is parking. Now, in London, because there are so many people and because parking is such a big issue, everyone nicks the accessible parking base. The only way you're likely to get out is risking a big parking fine. So, you know, transport is probably the biggest issue in London. The other issue is that London, or most places in Europe, are old. So that means, in comparison to Australia, there is much less space and therefore buildings tend to have more stairs than, for example, uh, there's much more room to get around compared to most uh, European cities. So I'm not just dissing London at all. I mean, Paris, Madrid, Rome, they're not built with mobility impairment in mind. Well, I guess Australian cities weren't built with that in mind either. But because there's more space, and I guess because there's, there are fewer preservation laws, it's easier to adapt things. 
Well, there you go. If you compare things hand in hand, like you just said, London, a lot of places in Europe were built centuries ago. Um, obviously, they didn't have much disability provisions in mind. A disability wasn't really a thing that many people thought of back then either. So it really is interesting to compare uh, what it was like visiting old places, old cities like London and newer places in Australia that weren't you know, built with that sort of thing in mind either. Max, thank you so much for jumping on the show with us this evening. It's been absolutely incredible to get your story uh, all about Wheel Easy and also all about how accessibility has been for you uh, throughout your entire life since you had that accident years ago. We really appreciate your time and thank you so much for coming on Raw this evening. Oh, pleasure. Thanks very much. Coast FM.